First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baasham Yawashai, Baasham Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mill School who rule well, who teach us this truth through the Spirit of Yahweh, Baasham Yawashai. Peace and salutation to the Akim, them all you pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. There's your brother Quara from Trinidad Camp, coming to you another lesson to feed the elect at the house of Israel. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you all are the Hebrew Israelites. Now this lesson I want to do concern, you know, hey, concern these other nations, concern Esau, who is the devil, right? That the Lord going to avenge his people for all the cruelty and mis- 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 ill treatment you all did to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Hey, the Lord going to avenge his sins. The Lord going to avenge his elect, right, for what you all have done. Until it's chosen, until the nation of Israel, you're all gonna get re- recompense, right? And the scripture says it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation unto them that trouble thee. And all these nations, hey, they trouble thee, they oppress thee, right? And you all have your reward, and your reward gonna be double, your reward gonna be great by the great power, the God of Israel, right? Yahweh, why you shy? <clears throat> right, the first scripture I want to bring there is um, Psalms 79, verse 1. A psalm of Asaph. He says, o, o power, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. Thy holy temple have they defiled. They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. Their, do- their dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of thy saints, unto the Unto the beasts of the earth, you know, and all these things happen to old slavery, you know. Well, what happened to the so called Negroes, Latinos? Because they most I did this, did all these things to them because they disobey and they move, they, they, they move their power to rat, right? They move the most I to rat, you know, and they why these things happen to them. Right, <coughs> but this same cup gonna return onto our adversary. The same thing, what we went through, cause the Mosai, the Mosai touch us, the Mosai cut our tail, cut our, he cut our ass. Right, but these heathens them feel like they're gonna get away scot free for the things they did, and they're not gonna get away scot free because they have their portion too. The like scripture say the portion of Jacob is not like them. Right, so he form how all things. <coughs> right, so our portion are gonna be like them, cause them gonna get double portion. When the Lord set his hand, right, they gonna get double portion. Right, verse three said, "Their their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. Yeah, he saw shed blood to the four corners of the earth." Right, he saw shed blood to the four corners of the earth where the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians were driven. Right, and mainly uh, uh, America, he saw he shed, he shed, he shed real blood. By scripture in, um, in Habakkuk 2 12, he said, Woe unto him that built a tongue with blood and established a city by iniquity. Right, and this whole America was built by the blood of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Right? And he established it by iniquity, you know, in democracy. You know, he just laws. His wicked ass laws. Right? All these things, this is how America was built by the blood of you Israelites. Right? Let's go back to the Psalms. Psalm um, 79 verse 3 he said their, their, their blood have they shed like water around about Jerusalem and there was none to bury them and because hey he saw left your bodies on trees when he lynch left your carcasses on the ground for the fowls heaven and the beasts and the youth you know to eat up of, eat of your dead carcasses 
right? He said, we have, we have become a reproach to our neighbor, a scorn and derision to them that are wronged about us. He said, how long, Lord, Yehovah, Hashem, Yehoshai, will thou be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? Right? He said, pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name, for they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. He say, right? He say, oh, remember not against us for my iniquities. Let thy tender mercy speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Right? Because these things what these things will happen to us because they we trespass against the Mosai. Right? For we cry now, crying out to your Basham your shy. No way the Lord so merciful unto his people because the scripture say the Lord has not cast away his people which he foreknew. So all these things the Mosai brought upon us in Israel Israel is true judgment. Right? Because the Mosai is now wicked. Everything the Lord done is in true righteousness. Righteous judgment, right? So, hey, hey, crying out, saying, hey, you know, hey, remember not against for my iniquities, you know, asking the Lord for that mercy. You know, the Lord is merciful for the ones that turn back on them because they what the Lord wants us to do, right? To turn back, right? There's um this Jeremiah two verse fourteen right he say all thy lovers have forgotten thee they seek thee not for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy with the chastisement of a cruel one right for the multitude of thy iniquities because thy sins were increased so there is the reason why your I did these things unto me. Right, he wound me of an enemy, a, a cruel one. And who is that cruel one? The so called white man, he saw. Right, he's the most wicked in all the, all the, all the world. As when you read the, the, the prayer of Azariah, come down, the most I have given you unto an unjust king, most wicked in all the earth, which are the so called white people. Right, he say. He say, why cries thou for thy affliction, thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. Right? So our sins were increased, and you know, I done these things for us. Done these things for us. Because we have sinned against our maker. <coughs> right? He said, he said, therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversary, every one of them, shall go into captivity. They that spoil thee shall be spoiled, and all they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Right, so the most I say you gonna restore health unto thee. Because the most is merciful for the ones that love him, the ones that turn back. You're gonna defend them. You're gonna defend them, the ones that fear him. Right? And you're gonna devour our enemies for doing all these things. But the Lord had brought upon us, hey, Mosai is gonna recompense our enemies. But the same thing as when you read in, in Lamentation 4. He said the cup also shall pass you unto thee. And that cup represents destruction, slavery, right? So what the things what Esau had done unto us, it gonna be done unto him, right? There's um, this is verse Zama Solomon three verse nine. He said, "They that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth." And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saint, and he cared for his elect. 
right? He said, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsake the Lord. Right? So the most I cared for his hey, cared for his neck. Because hey, the leg gonna the leg gonna turn back to, to the most I the leg gonna praise the Alba Shop your shine. Right? That scripture in um Right? Is it sure the Mosai is merciful unto the people? The Mosai will be t- to return back on him. Right, it's Isaiah 55 verse 7. He said, Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord Yehovah of Hashem Yoshai, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Right? So he will abundantly pardon. Right? So we go back into the Psalms. 79. Right? Verse 8, he said, Oh, remember not against us for my iniquities. Right? So once you turn back to your Basham and shine, cleanse your ways from wickedness, from evil. Hey, Musa will blot out your sins. Right, they really know what we do to turn back on them from our wickedness. Right? So he's saying, Oh, remember not against us for my iniquities. Let thy tender mercy speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. We had to turn back to your Basham and Shai. The most I'm going to defend his people, the most I'm going to defend you all. Right? He said, Help us, O power of our salvation. For the glory of thy name, and, de- and deliver us, and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Purge away our sins for thy name's sake. <coughs> right, so hey, the elect gonna praise your Basham, your Shai. Hey, the Mosai gonna defend them. <coughs> Mosai gonna render vengeance upon the adversaries. All that have ever done them wrong. Right? Right, and the most I gonna do it. All what he saw done, hey, it's gonna be done on time. The Abba Shamashai is of balance, you know. He's a god of balance, right? And he's gonna be, he gonna, gonna balance it off. There's um, a Job, Job 4 verse 8. He said, Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness. Read the same, right? So the same thing, you heathens, these other nations did unto the Negroes, like you know, those are Native American Indians of the house of Israel or the house of Yasharala. <coughs> you all gonna read the same thing, all done unto us. You all gonna read the same thing. Thus said, your Basham your Shai. All right. This will be the one verse. 15, he said, For the day of the Lord Yehovah is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee, thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Right? So the dear Yehovah Shem Yoshai is near, and we know we tell the dregs of this. Right? It's near upon all you heathen, all you heathen who despise the nation of Israel. Right and did us wrong, oppress us. All this gonna be done unto y'all. Right? These this first chronicle sixteen verse twenty one. He said he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes. See and touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. So the Messiah, he suffered no man to, to do us wrong. No man to do us wrong. Right? There's um. Mm-hmm. There's Sirach. There's Sirach 2, verse 10. He said, look at the generations of all and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? 
or whom did he ever despise that call upon call upon him? Right? So hey, most I gonna defend. Most I gonna defend hey the left. Hey, the most I gonna defend hey, the ones that turn back and call upon his name. You know? I wanna see hey, the fall of his enemies. Right? This gonna be a beautiful thing to see the fall of our enemies by the hand of the God of Israel, our power. Right? There is Acts 7, verse 24. You see, and seeing one of them suffered wrong, he defended him and avenged him that was oppressed and smote the Egyptians. Right? So the same thing. Right? Would they go back then and the come and do it in this latter times? The Lord gonna defend his people. The Lord gonna defend the nation of Israel, the apple of his eyes. <coughs> right? There is second Israel fifteen verse nine. He said, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them. Right? No doubt, you know. Or no maybe, you know. Surely. Right? Surely. Yahweh Shem Yahshai said. Not no maybe, I think I might do it. He said, surely. I will avenge them. And receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Right? He said, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will suffer them. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. You see, Moses said, As before. So this year now, we're going to be in this time, in this latter time, because Egypt is. Egypt just means the house of bondage. Right? <laughs> America. Right? You see, and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land of America is spiritually Egypt and Sodom. Right? So this is a this is prophecy the the Lord say gonna happen. Scripture say the Mosai word shall not return on them void. Thus said, Yahweh shall not shine. Right? So this will come in to you Edomites, you so-called white people, and you other hidden nations that have part in it, that oppress us, and sold us to the Grecians, sold us to Esau. You all have your reward coming, and hey, your reward going to be worse than what we pass through, what we get, or they're going to get a double. And we already had it hard. So much less what coming to you all. Much less what coming to you all. And scripture says it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So Obasha Mesha, you go to Israel. It's a terrible thing. Right? And this what coming to you, heathens. And to tell our people death and destruction. Right? And with that, I hope it was any fine. You know, I want to give all praises and glory unto the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rokakodash. And I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Mother Stone who will well to teach us this truth to the spirit of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. There's the brother Korah, saying, Shalom, you know, to you, Akiyam, them all day, presenting your body as a living sacrifice for this truth. Right? You know, the time coming, you know, hey, all you will show, you know, stand stiffly for the name of your Basham, your child, be soon out of this place. So until then, I say, hey, shalom.